It is with great concern that we address the recent developments surrounding special counsel Jack Smith. He was appointed under constitutionally questionable circumstances to prosecute former President Donald Trump on charges related to the mishandling of classified documents and alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election, including the events of January 6, 2021. This week, Mr. Smith took further action. On Monday, he appealed U.S. District Judge Aileen M. Cannon's decision to dismiss his case concerning classified documents based on the argument that his appointment itself was unconstitutional. This appeal to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, if nothing else, ensures that the case remains a focal point in the news during a critical election season. The very next day, Smith refiled his indictment against Trump, revising it in light of the Supreme Court's recent ruling on presidential immunity. The court had affirmed the broad powers of a president in conducting official business. Yet, despite Smith's claims that he's merely respecting the Supreme Court's decision, it appears his actions are designed to challenge the justices and question their authority. The charges remain largely unchanged aiming to cast a shadow over the former president as we approach the election. Let us be clear, the strategy here is not merely about the pursuit of justice, it is a deliberate effort to tarnish the name of Donald Trump during the campaign, to burden him with legal battles and expenses, and to sway public opinion against him. The intention is to brand a twice-impeached president as a convicted felon in the eyes of the American electorate, setting the stage for a narrative where he is pitted against a prosecutor, potentially even the former prosecutor and current vice president, Kamala Harris. This is not a pursuit of justice, but a manipulation of our legal system to serve partisan goals. We must recognize the danger in this approach. The same political forces that decry over criminalization and mass incarceration are now eager to weaponize these very issues against a political opponent. This hypocrisy is laid bare for all to see. The Democratic Party's actions reflect a troubling inconsistency. While they champion the rights of those who have been labeled felons arguing against the systemic injustices of our criminal justice system, they simultaneously seek to exploit this label against one man for political gain. It is a contradiction that cannot stand unchallenged. In closing, we must ask ourselves, is this the America we want? An America where the legal system is twisted to serve the ends of political warfare. I believe we are better than this. Let us reject this hypocrisy and stand for the principles of fairness, justice, and the rule of law that have long been the bedrock of our great nation. Heavenly Father, we come before you today seeking your divine guidance and wisdom. We know that you are the source of all truth and justice, and we ask that you pour out your wisdom upon the judges and juries who stand at the crossroads of decisions that will impact our nation. Lord, we pray that you open their eyes to see through any deceit, any manipulation, and any falsehoods that may cloud their judgment. Grant them the clarity of mind to discern the truth from lies, and the courage to stand firm in that truth regardless of the pressures they may face. Father, we ask that you shield their hearts from bias and prejudice, that they may judge with fairness and integrity. Give them the strength to see through any attempts to pervert justice for personal or political gain. May they be guided by your righteousness, and may they act in a manner that upholds the principles of justice and equity that you have ordained. We ask that you expose any wrongdoing and that your justice prevails over any schemes designed to harm the innocent. Let truth shine forth and let your will be done in this situation. We place our trust in you, Lord, knowing that you are the ultimate judge and that your wisdom surpasses all human understanding. We thank you for hearing our prayer and for guiding those entrusted with these important decisions. In your holy name we pray, amen.
to say